Welcome back Legionnaires to another Rome 2 siege battle. This is an excellent 3v3 siege battle between some of the more unlikely uh, factions that you'd see in the game. So we have Gete here today, we have Swaby and we have Tylus attacking against Athens, Carthage and Pergamon. I'd say Pergamon and Athens certainly you do not see for the defenders often. Um, I rarely ever see Athens ever used to be honest. Uh, people always prefer Car. Uh, Prefer, prefer Sparta and uh, Pergamon again rarely used hasn't got the greatest of rosters but it is an excellent faction to use definitely worth trying out next time you're playing Rome 2 and then on the attack obviously Gete um, kind of unknown it's actually a very good attacking force it's, these noble swords will mess people up if used rightly and we also have archers for them um, which I believe are in the forest somewhere over here and they are also very very deadly um, if used correctly. Um, and then uh, I guess Tylus, another one that's not often used but is known to be very, very strong. They have some very elite uh, tribal warriors. This, this case, they're on silver chevrons. So that will be excellent for them to be used. And yeah, these guys are like uh, Galatian uh, legionnaires. They're very cheap and they're also a very heavy melee infantry unit. So uh, you can kind of spam them out as the Tylus player here has done. He's also brought some Celtic slingers, but. Most of his army is just tribal warriors. He's got some most one as well for his general. But, um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see whether his spam works out for him. We've also got a lot of uh, round shield swordsmen over here. For Swaby, we've also got some sword masters. These round shield swords have got triple gold chevron. Insane. We've got some berserkers, of course, as well. You can't bring Swaby, not bring berserkers. But it looks like the first uh, attacks are about to take place. We now have uh, spear warriors over here. Getting a bit focused down by the Agema Spears here. This unit, just like uh, Royal Peltas for most Hellenic factions, is uh, has got a lot of javies. They have more than the usual amount. So they can just, like, as you can see here, they can just throw lots and lots of javies in their square formation. And uh, hopefully do a lot of damage in all the units that are surrounding them. Or slow surrounding them. They are taking a few casualties of these Spear Warriors. But these are the... Uh, these are only medium Spears. They've got more heavy stuff to come up, like Noble Swords. And here you go. Here are all their archers. We've got lots of Dacian bows over here. Um, we've got some more than our spears here as well from uh, Swaby. These Dacian heavy bows, they should do an excellent job. Well, I mean, yeah, Carthage also sent over lots of archers as well, so he's ready to contend with Dacia's archers. And I'd say Carthage is probably going to win that one just because his Cretans have got more armor. That's all I could say. Oh, and they're actually focusing down nicely, these spear warriors down here. That is a nice angle, actually, from all the way up there. And focusing these guys down very, very efficiently. Imagine just being up there, down here, and you just like just see like arrows come down. Like, focus on they're focusing down almost nothing now. But yes, if you do want to get involved in some of these battles, this one was taken part on the uh, taken place on the Discord, uh, organized with people on the Discord. So if you want to uh, take part, then uh, please do by hitting the uh, link in the description down below, and you can join the Discord. Always welcome to new members come chat with other players and also try and get involved in some of the scenario and just custom battles um, so if you haven't already please do hit the link and if you haven't uh, got discord then download discord man what are you doing and get in, get in the uh, server and also don't forget to like subscribe and comment uh, to support the channel let's try and get a 1500 subs we're very very close um, you're doing an excellent job in supporting so far guys just keep it up I really appreciate all the support but there you go, the first unit already breaking some Spear Warriors. Excellent to see that. Um, these Dacian Bows now focusing down on Gemma Spears. So they'll be doing a lot of damage there. We've now got Cretan Archers coming out. Lots of Cretan Archers, even some from Athens. Just trying to focus these Dacian Bows down. And they're actually doing a good job. 89 damage done. But let's check out what's going on on the other side. So, oh, okay. So Elephant's already in, being sent in by Carthage. To support in the attack against these uh, Swordmasters. These sword bastards probably wouldn't beat, uh, would probably beat these Sorak swords, and there's not much over here defending, so they would have a free reign. So these elephants being sent in to clear up these sword masters, a huge win for the defenders. But it's a very early use of the, of the elephants, so it's going to mean that these elephants are going to be very much more damaged and uh, very much more susceptible to missile fire later on in the battle, and may die a lot quicker. Always excellent to see some elephants in combat, though. And best way to use them. 
Um, certainly was this. I mean, possibly if they got around the flank and then charged in, even better, because they wouldn't have charged into their own men first. But with the support of the uh, infantry, these guys should break quite quickly. Imagine being one of these three guys. You, like, lay off the uh, tower. You just be like, nah, I'm going to go back down this tower. I've been chased by elephants. But yeah, there you go. The elephants are uh, done their duty, I think, and now it's going to be the Thorax swords fighting against the Swordmasters. And they're losing slightly. And these guys are uh, winning slightly. So, I mean, the damage is done. The elephants did all the damage, and they can, they can move on. And it looks like they're going to go after Tylus. Tylus is now engaging over here. We've now got picked top plates holding the line, losing decisively. That's how strong these tribal warriors are. Let's see as this uh, charge comes in. We've got tribal warriors holding the line, and there you go. These uh, elephants just kind of go straight through them. And then we've got Galatian swords in here as well. We've got Celts versus Celts. Celts from Turkey against Celts from the uh, Black Sea. With a touch of elephants from uh, North Africa. Yeah, I think they, those uh, troops are already breaking. Yeah, you can see here, yeah, wavering already. That's not a good sign. Tribe Warriors here also losing decisively. That's the effect elephants have. And it's going to clear up all this corner already for us. I mean, tires could set up more. But that's the first wave already cleared up. And now Tyus is in, inside here. I mean, he's doing a lot more damage to a Pokemon here. You can see here, Glacian Swords, even though they've got all those gold chevrons, they're losing. They're losing hard. I mean, you can see the armor comparison. These guys are like got full mail and stuff like here of Tyus. And then on the left, you've got Glacian Swords here with just a tunic on, really. And here we've got another unit coming in of, uh, of swords or. The tribal warriors, where are they going? Throwing javies. Are they going after the archers? By the looks of it, they are going after archers. They're going to be engaged by Libyans. So there's Libyan infantry now going on, going on in and saving those archers. That is very good play. Over here in the center, we now have uh, Swaby. He's kind of like just trying to break away through him. He's actually beating these Thorax swords. That is insane. So round shield swords with triple gold chevrons will beat. Thorax swords and strangely my Korean archers got really close up so I'm like I think I was ordering them to go back and yet as you can see here they're now being chased down by the round shield swords they've seen the opportunity they're going to try and get around and cut down some of these uh, devilish archers but it won't be happening I've got some uh, mobilizing small thorax swords which are just ha hanging out in this uh, little side street and they're going to just come and mop up the remains of these uh, these units here we also now have uh, What's going on over here? What's going on in this defense? Okay, so my Athenian archers are now starting to waver and break. Um, it, the defense over here is looking a bit thin on the ground. We've now got Libyan infantry coming in here to support these Gemma Spears. who are so beaten up by those archers. We've now got noble swords in here. These guys are uh, these guys are the menace, really. These are the ones that you need to fear when you're facing Dacia. And they certainly, I don't think these uh, Libyans do too well against them. They're holding for now, but how long that will last? We've got more Libyan infantry in here losing decisively. We've got a Skemmer Spears in here holding ever so slightly. These uh, archers need to keep firing and just focus on these uh, heavy bows. If they do that, then we can send up pikes and stuff and they can just contain this entire area. Because they'll have no archers here. Looks like some sort of unit is coming around as well from Swaby. We've got more over here, as you can see here. Um, Daesh is now... Forcing another way through, or trying to force another way through. And these Libyans are starting to lose, you can see here, unit losing. And it's not looking good. Dacia is uh, cleaning up a lot of units here, for certainly for Carthage. And I'm sure he's going to do the same in the center against Athens. These, look at that disgusting barbarian there with his facial hair and beard. Can't have that in a civilized Hellenic society because all these units, actually, all these factions, sorry for the defenders, are actually Hellenic. You've got uh, Carthage here, you've got Athens, you've got Pokemon. All Hellenic against barbarian today, it would seem. But uh, so the Carthaginian archers have been forced back because you've got some wooden spears here that are uh, trying, getting a little bit too close. They actually broke through their uh, defense of the Libyans. 
We've now got picked hot plates up, ready to support and hold this choke point. But they're just going to surround and condemn these Agema Spears, which really, truly are just condemned. They're in a square formation, but that's not going to be enough. They're being attacked from all sides. That is brutal. Now let's check out on the other side quickly, because I do believe the elephants are doing more work. Yes, as you can see here, the elephants are ripping through Tylus over here now. They've uh, moved on from dealing with everything basically here, and they're coming up here now, and they're going to try and basically rip through this main uh, t assault by Tyus. This unit's losing decisively. Uh, this one's losing, and that one's okay. We've got pikes in here as well. They need to kind of push forward a little bit more. They're kind of out of pike range of the attackers. We've got more elephants in here, but they are starting to drop. We are starting to see a lot less elephants. Already another three dead here. A sad sight. These beautiful beasts. But I think they're out of control, and they're going out the gate. Which is uh, a bit of a concern. You don't really want the elephants go, uh, leaving already. Like, Barnes of Power, you could say they, they still need those elephants, really. But, uh, yeah, it's looking okay right now. We've got uh, Thorax Swords holding the line over here. A beautiful sight. And then we'll have a look over here and have a look at how uh, the Libyans are doing. But they don't look like they're doing so well. The line is thinning. The line is thinning. I do apologize for the lag. I don't quite know why it's been happening. Um, I've basically fiddled with it all, uh, quite a lot already. and It doesn't seem to really want to disappear. Probably just one too many units on the battlefield at the moment. Hopefully that will go down when uh, more units disappear. We've got pikemen going up. They're going to hold the front line now against... Oh, because you can see this. Look at this. You've got uh, Gete coming round. So he's sent a unit that was in reserve here. And it's got around this wall. And it's now going to get up here and onto... Uh, onto, uh, like, into the rear, almost. So these pikes are going to be needed, necessary to... Uh, probably flank, counter flank, almost. You can see here, look at this. Got uh, Cretan archers here just focusing down. Uh, these longbow hunters, not giving them a chance to set up and fire back themselves. I mean, that's the downside of Swaby. They've got not very great armor on their uh, missiles, so they just are going to get focused down and killed quite effectively. What's this? Um, oh, we've got the archers here. Where are the elephants? The elephants have actually, uh, they've actually rallied. They're, um, I mean, they are actually just getting shot by an arch tower. That's now controlled by uh, Swaby. But they might actually want to get a move on these uh, elephants and try and get back inside. Which they are now doing. But here we go. We've got some Pergamese cavalry. I don't know. It's been outside for so long. And it just mows down this tiny little unit of tribal warriors. Probably the only kills they're going to get all battle. Probably. Um, and here comes the rear charge. And that's gonna that's them gone. That's good night Vienna for that tiny unit of tribal warriors. Yeah, losing sizably. They're gone. Wavering. Yep. Yeah. Not looking good on the front lines at the moment. We've now got uh, more wavering from my army. Uh, just, I don't know what it is. Just can't hold against these round shield swords, basically. There's nothing special about it. We've got berserkers in there, actually, as well. But they're losing. Berserkers are losing in that fight. Chop them down. All those men that have killed bears just so they can then go angry themselves. Do you have to kill a bear to become a berserker, do you think? I think you probably do. Kill a bear and have and be one of like the most toxic people in your tribe. You're so angry all the time. And it's like, right, that's it. You're being a berserker. And you're being sent in on a suicide mission. That'll probably, that's probably how to get rid of all the awful people. And they're like in tribes or something like that. Just, you're you're now a berserker. You're sending you in. We've got Libyan infantry being sent in themselves to deal with uh, the round shield swords, basically. We've got pikes being sent up here as well. They're now going to help force back these uh, back these noble swords. You can now see that melee losing decisively. They This unit up here just got focused down by uh, the jabbies of uh, the Libyan infantry. Just let them get mowed down. We've got pikes just supporting the uh, Libyan infantry. This is really going to help. The Libyan infantry is still not doing well. I think it's still... Oh, no, it's even now. Yeah, we're going to force these guys back. And that's a small victory for uh, this flank here. 
Over on this side, we're still trying to contain a lot of units, though. We've now got uh, mercenary noble fighters in here. Losing decisively, we've got picked top lights, two units in here. They're getting messed up. But look at this angle as well from... Uh, I'm not, I was about to say Athens, but it's not. It's Carthage. Look at that angle. That is... You just can't miss. If you, you could close your eyes and fire in there, and you would not miss. Well, you might hit your own men. That is po that's quite possible. But yeah, they are doing a lot of damage, I'm sure, those mercenary Cretans. Um, and you can see their noble swords starting to break. This is how we're going to have to break these guys. Got berserkers out of here, out of control. Are they on the flanks? Yeah, they're out of, the out of control on the flanks. They're actually doing quite a lot of damage. They're probably the reason why these noble fires are losing. Apparently, uh, w the defenders are weakening, according to uh, the, the men of the attackers. <laughs> they just said that. Finish this. They're weakening. Maybe they are. Maybe they're not. Who will see? I mean, it is certainly looking a bit dire I'm in the center. They've got a cavalry inside as Pokemon now. An interesting play. I think the elephants did rejoin uh, the siege. Or like the, well, yeah, the siege. And they died over here. But you can see Tylus is done, basically. He's got a lack of swords left. He's got... Two units here. He's got two more bad units there. He's got another unit over here. But that's it. He's just got slingers after that. It's really down to Swaby, I'd say. And here we go. Got picked top fights coming in. To deal with these tribal warriors. And this is the final fight in this small corner. That started so early on with the elephants. Um, and in this head-on charge, I don't think... Well, actually... The tribal warriors aren't going to stand and fight. They're going to just pull back. As you can see here, we've got units coming around desperately trying to surround these guys. And you can see they're now going on to war. I must have been looking elsewhere because they just move on around and do their own thing. I've now got Mercenary Road and Slingers here. They're just uh, going to chill. And they, yeah, they, they didn't go for them. And I do believe that this unit is going to go all the way up here. And it's going to try and go for the cap point. It's going to try and capture... The, uh, the defense. So I'm setting up my general and I'm not going to allow it to happen. And here you go. He's going into the Rodian Slingers. Not a bad decision. Uh, take these guys out. I do believe they've run out of ammo. Um, so they've got their swords out. But yeah, they're, they're just giving Athens the run around right now. And on this front line though over here, let's check this out. This is where all the real fighting is going on. We don't want to watch uh, just units running around, avoiding units. we got pikes coming in here, all bloodied up. We've seen a bit of action. We support the pick top plights. Now you've got uh, Tylus' general here. you got the Oathsworn ready with the birds on their head. And Pokemon's cavalry is just dashing around doing something. I think it's trying to get through here, and it, I think it is, isn't it? No, it's not. Okay. Oh, this is a, the Noble Riders for Swavy, of course. But yeah, it looks like it's trying to gonna try and bat away through here. Not really the smartest of ideas. We've got a lot of units in here that probably don't want to get moved out of their current positions. Sacred Band, you've got more Thorax Swords. They are I, The defenders are outnumbering numbering the attackers in this small choke point here. Over here, you can see that uh, the Libyan Infantry are not having so much fun again. They're getting beaten up by noble warriors or noble swords. Just when you kill one noble sword unit, another one appears. Seems to be the case. It just won't disappear. Then on this flank, uh, we decided that all these units were kind of condemned. I might get this unit out, pick top plates, it's still fairly fresh, but you've got an entire line now of African Pikes, just here, ready. That is insane. As Sir Carthage here put all of his uh, Pikes into this one area, he was like, right, no one's coming past. There's a tiny little gap on this side, uh, and there's a tiny gap on that side, but I don't think you could really get a unit around. But we do have plenty of units from uh, Athens just ready and supporting. 
And there you go, Tyus is popping a rally. It's really going to come down to Gete, I think, and Swaby. Gete is making some progress. He's breaking more of Libyan infantry. He's got some archers up here of Swaby. They're just going to focus down it. Point blank range this unit, quite possibly. Oh, poor men being cut down. And here you go, you got more pikes coming up now, or the pikes are coming back up from. Uh, Athens, so they're going to support this choke point again. Small unit of archers, that's all there is to just, just stop them. It's not really going to be enough. Over here, you can see Tyler's this unit that was giving us the runabout. Managed to corner itself while trying to capture, try and go for the capture point. So we've now got Gemma Spears, pick top plates, more pick top plates, just pinning this unit down, and it's getting massacred. With the help, I think, of these arch towers. But yeah, this corner over here, which saw the most of the initial fighting, now for, now done. It's kind of cleared up. We've also kind of cleared up Tylus. He's got a few small units left. But we're now trying to push around and uh, deal with him. And I've got some more pick top lights here ready to hold the line. I'm trying to, I think the objective was to try and get through to get all these uh, slingers that are actually doing a lot of damage to us currently. But look at this blob, I think we've forced them back from here at this choke point and we're now moving on to this one. This street to street fighting is nasty, I will admit though. So many men have died just in this small street to street fighting. And you can see like the missiles going over their head as well. Slingers from both sides and archers just using every bit of ammunition they've got. But you can barely tell who's on whose side here. There's such a mix of colours and helmets. If you check out over here, you can see, yeah, you can see there's a Gete trying to get around. To no success, no avail. Just got noble swords here. You've got archers up here. Or Baradex slingers, in fact. They're focusing down these wooden house spaces. They're just standing in reserves. And, like, they're forming their shield wall. That's not going to help. They're going to get focused down because it's coming from above. And that is a nasty angle. That is one heck of an angle. Yeah, you just would not want to be one of those guys down there. You're just looking, like, one of these guys, you're just looking at a shield wall and then to your left. You're just being shot for free. I would have broken a lot earlier than they have currently. But yeah, these uh, pikes are doing okay. They're holding the line. And there you go. Swaby's just sent his troops in. Almost just to die. What can he do? He can retreat and die, or he can charge in and die. And this is a really good defense over here by Carthage. This is what happens if you work uh, as a team and you take out archers first. Pikes can then have really good, strong games. And they don't have to worry at all about uh, about archers. I mean, yes, a few a few spearmen will get through like it happened there. I think a couple of pikes died, but nothing really atrocious. And then we've got uh, Pokemon's Cavalry over here. I... All hidden in a bush, really. I can't really show it really too well to you. But it's trying to break through and get around. But Swaby sent in his general as well. And his is winning slightly. Um, it is melee against Shock. So it is going to win as the combat goes on. But that now actually uh, caught... That kind of makes an issue on our left flank here. Because the cavalry is actually holding this. We're actually thinning out quite quickly over here. There's still a chance for them to win on this side. I mean, we've got another pick top light unit ready. But these Sacred Banner are losing. As are uh, the Thorax Swords. And here comes the pick top lights. And they're going to go in and just basically take over the position. But here we go. We've got some pikes here from uh, Pergamon going in. We've got a small unit of pick top lights. These guys should... They really should uh, probably like clean up this last one of the last units of Tylus. Tylus, which uh, I thought was going to be like the strongest and hardest faction to take out, 
I actually, well, I mean, we did focus him down quite a lot. We saw him as a major, major threat, so we took him out first. I'm not quite sure the pikes pull back. They were very much okay where they are. Ah, because this unit's going to flank around. So the pikes are now forming up, and they're going to just basically uh, have to go back in. This picked hot plate unit is going to get surrounded and killed, but it's a risk worth taking. We've got sacred band here as well, ready to go in if needs be. Got so many pikes in here, so much stuff. It's just a queue of who's going to get through first and kill that O Sworn general. And the noble sword's holding back desperately. There's O Sworn's killing like a couple of guys, but this is. Yeah, per, I mean, not Pokemon. Um, Tyus is just like holding back ever so slowly. Being pushed back ever so slowly. Into a different corner that he started in. He was over here and he's like somehow migrated this way. Um, but I mean they were going to. I think the defenders were going to make an offensive here. We've got Libyan infantry that was going to go around. It's return. We've got some picked hotbikes coming around. Maybe they're going to support an attack. But I mean the flank is now looking very very vulnerable. Um, and get a. Has only got one unit here. And it's a depleted noble sword. It's exhausted. They probably won't be too much of an opposition. But we'll have to see. We've now got Carthaginian pikes coming over from the other front. They're marching in. And they're going to come clean up these guys. Not quite sure what formation this is. But that's a formation apparently. Pikemen are funny in this game. They do make some weird formations. Look at that. It's just, that's just not right. And they go down the pikes. And they're going to force back the attackers even more. And there you go, so this unit here is breaking, so that means a flank is definitely viable with these tribal warriors here, which are also already losing. So we've got the pikes coming in, and now a flank against Tyus is also now vulnerable. We have now a flank over here as well, look at this, so the pikes are now coming up with uh, picked top pikes. We've got Libyan infantry coming around. Um, these noble riders are going to come and try and uh, stop them, but will that be the case? I don't think so. They're actually going to go out the gate. They're actually going out the gate. Maybe they have a plan. Who knows? But here comes the clash of infantry. As they go through a tree. And there we go. Got a tiny unit of archers over there in the far side. Joining the fight as well. Not that they'll help. And you can see off in the distance the main choke point there is left, and you can see more uh, more Dacians leaving, more Gete, more troops of Gete f falling back, retreating back to their hovels that they call homes. And then come the Pikes, and we've now got Carthage also flanking around hard. This unit is definitely condemned. And there's more flanking here, so Sacred Band going in. We've now got Pikes coming in as well. They're going to surround the general by the looks of it. Yes. And that's going to be the end of uh, Tyus' general as he gets killed with lots of uh, long pointy boys. And there you go. Ever so slowly poking them away. Keep. And then they're going to keep pushing forward. Almost force them to go into the swords of the attack of like the guys in the front line. That is just horrendous. Imagine being forced forward just to your deaths. Either die going this way if you don't walk forwards, but you die this way if you walk forwards. Horrendous. And yeah, this unit's gonna slowly die. I'm surprised it's not broken already. That's a pretty bad way to go. But yeah, we've got Sacred Band over here now fighting. They're breaking these Celtic Slingers. Nowhere for them to go, really. And now here you go. So, uh, Gete sent his general round with his uh, other forces, and he's going to try and break away through. Carthage has only got one pike unit here, so it's actually come down to uh, the Agema Spear general here. And we've got some uh, Carthaginian mercenary Cretan archers. 
which are out of ammo. But, I mean, yeah, you can see here, look at all the Javis are just throwing into the pikes. Well, they probably should have done before, but, I mean, they did uh, have uh, archer support last time. They don't this time. But look at that. That is horrendous. These uh, pikes are getting absolutely focused down. Oh, that is nasty. Certainly in the center of that line, dying quite quickly. you got a small unit of uh, Pokemon archers coming out there. Actually, you focus down as well. They're going in. They're going to try and stop them. And there we go. We've got the Noble Riders of Swaby coming around. They had a plan all this time. And we've got, I believe, no Carthage is breaking. Okay, I thought they were charging in. I was like, what? No, but we've got pick top lights now coming up. My general is going to fill in that gap here. You can see there's desperately more stuff now going over here. We've broken this flank. And it's just a one lone unit of Gete left here. And there you go, that final unit is gone. That final unit is gone. Imagine just being there, that little tiny unit. Just like, oh god, what do we do? And then same here though, really. We've got archers back up. We've got Bale Eric Slingers. We've got uh, archers. They're just focusing down this unit in reserve. Really, they should just go in. It could flank around. There's certainly more gaps now. The pikes are gone. We've got pig top lights here. Noble riders holding the line. And there you go, it's going in. Finally, that reserve unit. I think it is going to do what I thought it would, and it's going to flank around. There's a massive gap here, and it's only, like, most of this flank's actually just get a troops. So there you go, it's going to flank around, and it's in a better spot there. Like, how are these guys, they're literally throwing, imp like, missiles through a wall. That's pretty impressive, but there you go, they're going into the flank. Luckily, some picked up pikes got there in time. They're going to stop them ever so slowly. Glacian Swords here, we've got pikes up here. And this is the final assault. And I'm going to say the defense have probably got this. It's going to take a lot for these uh, noble swords to probably win this back. They're already pretty tired. They're pretty bloodied up. But they'll take as many down with them as possible. That I'm guaranteed they will do. Oh, that poor guy there just flipped over. Pikes coming up. That certainly is making the uh, playing field a little bit less level. That's a fair thing to do. They're not going to have to try and break through. Picked up lights supported by pikes. It's going to be a tough one. And these units are cheering. I don't know why they're cheering. They're not quite won yet. I mean, they have definitely won the battle. There is only, like, three, two units, three units left. But not worth cheering left. And this is actually not all that's left. The defenders didn't have masses left. They've got a lot, a lot of these uh, units that are in here are actually pretty beaten up. Um, so, I mean, I don't, I don't think the defenders did anything too wrong. I think it's just a really well done defense by the defenders. Um... I don't know, maybe not splitting off their army, but it, it kind of worked because it just would have meant the defenders would have had stuff elsewhere. So maybe supported that uh, Swaby attack a bit more. Like it was just two units versus two, and then the elephants came in supported. That was detrimental. Um, or maybe just committed them really late on, like those two units could have gone in a lot later. And they would have uh, possibly then turned the tide. Like when everyone else was just busy fighting elsewhere against stuff. Things like really OP noble warriors, uh, noble swords, because we have to send in like a lot more to contend with one of their units in comparison to them. They can send one uh, noble sword in, and they would probably be able to contend with about two, maybe three of our units. Same with the tribal warriors. 
Um, so those Swordmasters would have probably, might have been free to do whatever they wanted to if they just held back a little bit instead of going in first and gone in when everyone else wasn't looking and paying attention. They may have done a lot of damage. Yes, you can see here the Gete is now slowly wavering. We've got the general wavering. We've got that unit returning. But how long that will happen, who knows. And there you go. The general is broken. Uh, I imagine a bit of a chain route will occur in a moment. Uh, yeah, another one gone. Just the final one on this side. And that's going to be the mat. That's going to be the battle. Uh, it's a really good siege battle, actually. It was enjoyable to play and to watch again. I mean, some really nice tactics and uh, some. It was pretty. At some points, it's pretty stressful. There was a lot of points where I thought we'd lost this. But there you go, a costly victory for Athens. See, I was playing as Athens. Um, and then I was playing with a lot of my subs um, in this uh, 3v3. Um, it's my Rodian Slings at X and 223 kills. My Pike's got 208, it's not bad. 172 for Thorax Swords is not shabby either. 205 for Pix Hot Plates is not atrocious either. They're probably the best units uh, for me. And then we had Matthew 20, 352 kills with his African War Elephants. Very well done there. His uh, Arch is getting 164 kills but his slinger is getting 250 on that nice ledge doing excellent um his limited infantry 194 probably the best of the, out of all of them his mercenary noble fighters is actually worth only 189 and his sacred band 145 so not too bad there at all and then aiden who was playing as pergwan um he got 156 with his archers um, which isn't too bad these guys aren't that great um his again his spears probably the best one was 104 or 111 actually and then his Galatian Swords, 166 is the best, and his Pike's got 146. It's not too bad there either. Then Drunk Norwegian, who's playing as Swaby. Um, his Berserker's got 195 kills. It's pretty good for Berserkers. Um, 162 kills with Round Shield Swords. It's not too atrocious either. And then Swordmaster, 217. The best out of them. Killian, who is playing as Gete, 221 kills with his Noble Sword General. That is very nasty. Uh, another one got 200. You can see here, look how many Noble Swords he was able to bring. And they are nasty. His uh, Spear Warriors didn't do so well, but that didn't really matter. His uh, Bows did pretty well. 178 kills is not bad either. And then Broken, who was playing as Tireless, um, really got focused down. We were really scared. Like, look at this Tribal Warrior spam. It is nasty. 248 with his General Oath Sworn kill. Um, and then probably the best Tribal Warriors was 140, looks like, is the best one. So he definitely could have done better, but he did face a lot of elephants and a lot of pikes and stuff like that, so he did have a tough time. But I hope you guys have enjoyed the siege. If you have, please do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and leave a comment to show your support. And until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.